take three. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Naomi from Fluffy Boots Crochet Creations. As if you didn't know, because that is why you were here to see me and apparently my antics. I don't didn't realize I was so entertaining, but apparently I am. So that's pretty dang toot and cool. Yeah. I like being understanding. I have this weird hair thing going though. I have one curl on this side that just is like, I don't want to be anywhere else but right here. So, whatever. So, hello again, my friends. I am so happy you're here. I'm really hoping my hyperness will not turn you off today, but I'm very hyper. I'm very hyper. Do you know why I'm so hyper? So let me tell you this little story. Ready? Okay. So I knew I had a single package out there in my mailbox of yarn. That's all I remembered having come in. And I also had, you know, something that needed to be taken out of the mail because it was not safe to leave there. And I'm sure you guys can guess what it could possibly be. We ain't going to go into details. But just think of something that most of us have to get a new one of each. Well, sometimes it's each year. Sometimes it's every two years. You know what I'm talking about? No, it's not my driver's license. That's like five years here in Washington. I don't know how it is elsewhere. But I had yarn that I forgot about that had come in. That had been sitting out there for two weeks. And it's just like, and, and before you ask, are you, oh my God, my, my light went like that. I was like, why is my light moving? It's because my cat stepped on the line. Um, we, I live in an apartment complex and we have our um, mailboxes and a locked up system that's across the complex from us. And I don't always go to get it. Um, I should, but I don't always think about it. Sometimes there's just like, you know, other things that are going on and I don't think about the fact that I should probably go get my, my mail. <laughs> so it, that's why it was two weeks later and then it's just like, oh, wow, look at that. I have mail in. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I am going to be trying not to pause all the time. Like if I have to take a drink. Um, I will pause if I have to do my nose, though, because I don't want you to have to see that. So, today, though, is subscription boxes. And today is only my UK subscriptions. I have not received my um, subscription yet for um, Full Spectrum, obviously, because it's the 1st of May. I haven't got my April one in yet. What, but she shipped them all out, so I should be getting that sometime. But I'm just going to do my full spectrum at the end of uh, May after I get the May. And there's my cat. <laughs> after I get my mail subscription and birthstone in, I will do it at that time. So that um, it's a little bit bigger and everything else. Um, and it'll be exciting. It, it will be awesome. And I still can't do this showing what the stitches look like for my yarn with the hooks because unfortunately I got my light in last week. I didn't open it till today because I had other things going on, like I said. And I went to set it up today and Dang it, if I wasn't missing what keeps it in place. The, um, not lug nut, but it, it's the turner part that puts the phone onto the arm. I don't have it. I didn't get it, so now I got to send it back and then wait for the replacement. Hope it gets in here in a decent amount of time. So it may be May before 
I can do showing stitches with yarn. So that being said, and I know I could do it with the camera and the light arm that I have now. It's very awkward though. It really is. It's so, so hard to do. So I am not going to do the past um, yarn that I had that I was going to do the stitches to show with. That's the only reason why. Um, it just, because right now I have so many different yarns waiting for that. It, it just would take so long to do. And there's so much more that I want to be able to show you on my channel. So until I get my camera situated with a new arm, I'm not going to be doing the showing you different, the different yarns on the different hooks to give you an idea. Plus, I actually want to get a couple more um, yarn, or not yarns, hooks for you to see. Because right now I have wood, I have resin, I have metal. Um, I do have bamboo, but it is only in my Tunisian. And I don't always, and there she is again. Hi, Winnie. Here you go. No, 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 no. Go on. Winnie, come on. I even fed them before this so that we wouldn't have this issue. But obviously, she heard me talking and she sees the light, so she's like, oh, must be camera time. You don't need back over here. Go play. Go see your sister. Look out the window, Winnie. Look, there's something exciting going on. I just know it. All right. And the other one that I haven't gotten in, if I don't remember now if I said it, um, I don't think I did because I think that was on my other video. I've redone this video twice now. Um, mainly because on the other one, it was just like, I'm spending so much time talking about something else besides the subscription boxes that I might as well just redo this one. So that's what I did. So I have not been able to buy my, um, she's getting, in case you hear her purring, she's getting loved on and she's enjoying that very much. Um, I haven't been able to get my Color My Fiber. Uh, I didn't get it in March, and I didn't get it, unfortunately, in April. And I won't be able to buy the May till the end of the month. Um, the only reason is, and it, it really is the only reason, the shipping is very high. Whoops. That was her tail. Thanks, Winnie. Um, the shipping's really high right now, and I just can't, I couldn't afford it and do, sorry, she hit just so. All right, here we go. Um, I couldn't do that and do the, this is really going to bother me. Okay, hopefully it'll stay. She hit it just enough that she got it off kilter. I, I just couldn't afford the shipping and it's very sad that to ship from the UK to the US is cheaper than to ship from Canada to the US. Go figure. But I really love her yarn so I definitely want to get more of it. And is this off kilter again? Apparently I have it precariously in the holder so if it gets knocked ever so slightly apparently it it bounces so anyways I do love color my fiber I was on her website the other day on Etsy I should say and I was drooling over some other yarns that I want to get and then of course I need to buy some more homestead hearth and fiber I introduced her to everyone in 
my live, my very first live, she happened to come on and I was raving about her yarn. I was showing it and she ended up having like three or four people because me <laughs> go buy her yarn and I was just like, yeah, cool. I helped someone out. I love helping small businesses and I especially love helping small businesses that are part of our YouTube community because to me there is nothing better in the world than helping out the little guy because as much as I love my big yarn companies I do don't get me wrong you know how I am about Premiere I love them um, it's nice to help the independents to get um, ahead and get seen and if I can help them in any way I will so oh oh I do need to mention this part before I forget again so I am getting close to a thousand subscribers and that means that I am going to start doing giveaways after I reach a thousand now how often I will do them um, what you know how much I will give I haven't decided yet but I am not doing it until I reach a thousand look at me <laughs> I know I just pushed it back there so um, I've recently found out that there are people out there who I always knew about the wool allergy but I didn't realize some people are allergic to acrylic so I'm assuming there's also people that have to be allergic to other natural fibers like cotton and bamboo and because I want everybody to have a good experience with their crocheting knitting I want to make sure that when I give a giveaway that they are getting a giveaway that will have a yarn that they can use so if they have no problem with the wools or you know wool blends cotton blends all that that's awesome that's great no problem but if it is someone who has a cotton allergy a bamboo allergy um, I guess even silk when you think about it or if they have an acrylic allergy one of those are of course if they're allergic to wool I want to make sure that I have yarn that is safe for them and the only way I can think of it to be safe is to make sure it does not touch my yarn at all because I do work with a lot of wool wool blends cotton blends um, that sort of stuff so when I order in for my giveaways I am only going to keep the cotton cotton blends anything I have coming in for just a giveaway they will stay inside the bag that you know the plastic bag they come in I will not take it out to show it will just be you know to show it the best I can through the picture but I'm not going to take it out so that when I do my giveaway and I have a winner I can say are you allergic to wool if the answer is yes then it's like well can you work with cotton can you work with a cotton blend can you, you know all those check do the checklist and that way I know I'm doing what I can to help people not have an allergic reaction to yarn because I have asthma and I know how bad it can get to get something given to you that you don't know has something in it that you're allergic to. Mine is grass and mold, so, and pollen. Pollen's horrible. I'm very thankful I do not have a food allergy, and very, very thankful I do not have a fiber allergy. Thank you, Lord. So, for those people, that do have those allergies I will make sure that I will have a beautiful selection just for them that they can choose from 
for their giveaway. If it ends up becoming a situation where it's going to be too much, then I just might do um, like PayPal or give them a gift certificate, gift card, whatever, to a yarn store of their choosing. But that's only for giveaways. Um, I was originally thinking for giveaways of doing things I made, but now finding so many people who have allergies I had not thought of before and some people being sensitive if it has, you know, possibly been in contact, it's like, oh, I guess I won't do that part. But we'll see. <laughs> We shall see. Anyhow, shall we look at some subscription boxes? I think we shall. So, <laughs> I've been bad. <laughs> A couple of these I have had for probably a month. <laughs> I have other yarn to show today, so I can laugh at myself and say, yeah. I've had it for a month. It's been sitting over on the side. I keep thinking, okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. And then I forget about it totally. So. And then one I got today. And then one I got a couple weeks ago. These are just UK. As I said, I, can't, I don't have the color of my fiber right now. And I haven't got my... Uh, monthlies from full spectrum yet so I'm going to start with I'm trying to remember what his name is for his company oh my gosh I get it you would think I'd remember I'll go look it up because I just ordered my next one from him yes three days ago Crafty Wool UK. I'm so sorry, Adam. I don't know why I like totally blanked on your stuff. Anyways, I again, I love the way he packages this. If I could do this for yarn for giveaways, I would totally do it like this. I mean, come on. That is so cool. I love this. I love these colors. I really do. And I was going to order more from him this month, but I, I couldn't afford it <laughs> again because he has these um, full skeins that I want to order. And I had them in my my cart, and then it's just like, I can't get those right now. Dang, nabbit. But I do plan on getting them. And he has... A website now too so he doesn't just sell on Etsy he has a website where you can um, sign up for the monthly minis and it will automatically um, charge your card so these are minis oh, I love this one look at isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I love that. I love how it's like this peachy orange. Oh, a little bit of purple in there. That's awesome. Over here too. And then it goes into this like almost blush. And then it goes into the purple. And then it goes over here into like a pale aqua. Into the darker aqua. Down into the pale and back into the purple. So pretty. I haven't decided what I'm doing with all the minis I'm getting, but when I do, it's going to be cool. It really is. I'm almost thinking in terms of doing it um, per, I don't want to say it, my minis by the creator, which is only two creators, so it's not that hard, but I have other minis set up. And then this one, it got caught on my finger, so it kind of messed it up. 
it's a very 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 pretty blue and then wait wait for it don't get too excited quite yet whoop okay get excited look at that it goes together Ooh wee isn't that pretty oh I'm very excited and they are so soft oh they are now these are called Crafty Wool Monthly Yarn Club, and this is April, Lucky Dip. And they are Merino Nylon Weight Sock. So it's awesome. I have a couple of patterns that are really, really cool for um, minis that I might do. One is that Bang Tootin Adventure Scarf that I goofed on. Contacted Tony. Tony walked me through what I did wrong and it's like, oh, that would probably be why I messed up. But I really want to do that. I am determined to make that. All right, so. That, unfortunately, is all there is for Adam. I will put a link for Adam's Etsy store, and then I believe I have his website. Yes, I have his website address as well, so I'll put both there so that you can go look it out, give him some support. They're very reasonable. Um, the shipping and then the cost of this was only... 1053 so very reasonable um, of course as you add weight the shipping has to go up it's how we are anymore guys so we can't do anything about it. it that's just how it is but definitely give him a check out all right now the next one is fluff <sighs> fluffles no Naomi not everybody has fluff in their name ruffles Lord of Friday. And I can say that because it's Friday. All right. Ruffles yarn. Cute as darn tootin' yarn, I tell you. So I'm trying to get everything out. Because hers, I decided to um, buy not just the minis, but I bought some regular yarn and I'm very excited because they came out gorgeous her yarn is set up to be able to work with any of the yarns so you can buy anything of her yarns and they will work together I love that idea so first of all okay I just see and yes there is crinkles I'm sorry but first I got a sticker. Ah! I got a sticker and I got a little flower. I put the feather in my teddy bear's hat. So I'll probably save this for somebody else's stuff. So that's pretty cool. So here we go. And I have two of her stuff to show today because I got um, the one I've been holding for too long to show you. And then I got this is one of the ones that it was in the mail, and I was like, oh, how long's that been? <laughs> yeah. Well, what do we do? Okay. This is the one from... Mark. No, it's Mark. Hold on, let me look. I think it's March. Sorry. Because hers ships out differently, so I have to stop and look. So that's April, so it's got to be March. So hers doesn't ship out um, in the same time period that, like, say... Uh, Adams does. 
she sends all she gets all of her orders so if you order like well prime example I bought my April one on the 25th okay so at the end of April she takes all the orders she does all the dyeing then then they get sent out the middle of May as long as you know that, then you're not in a panic of, oh my gosh, where's my yarn? Um, she's really easy to work with, too. I really enjoy her yarn. It's why I keep going back to her. Same with Adam. I love them both. Claire is her name. She's also in the UK. I don't remember. Do I have her? I don't have her location in front of me, but... This is information about her. She's on Instagram as well as on Etsy. So, inside my build a blanket, I got another little. I got another sticker. I love it. I got another sticker. This is so easy. I love stickers. I like a little kid of art. So, this is the ones that I got for my March. See, it throws my brain off. <laughs> so I love them. Um, this one has more pinks and yellows, a little bit of green. This one has more blues and greens and pinks. Now, the thing with these minis is these were made to be part of, like I said, a build a blanket, but it's a scrap blanket. So the colors will work together, but it's in a scrap blanket form, which I love that idea of. Um, and so when you go to her Etsy shop and you're looking, that is why. And she has a wide range of products. She has the um, the Hanks. I'm looking right now, so that's why I stopped for a second. She has the scrap cakes, which are cool. I haven't got them yet, but they look very cool. Um, she has this one stick, sticker I love. I need to, I keep forgetting to buy by which says Shh, I'm counting just one more row and it's a unicorn kitty so adorable but she has a lot of really cool um, ideas she has the build a, a uh, build a blanket sorry that was hard for my brain then she has lucky dips and I always do a lucky dip as well because well I mean heck why not <laughs> And this was my lucky dip. Isn't that pretty? It's definitely all pinks. And look, it all still works together. Look at that, look at that. And then I bought, like I said, I bought three of her um, other Hanks. And it's called Pixie Biscuit Silver Sock. And it's I think it's 50G. Sorry. But see, it would still work together with that. And let's just look at this first. Though. This has sparkle. Isn't that pretty? And it's got the purples and the pinks and the oranges and the, the yellows. And they're all very soft colors. They're beautiful. I love this. And I bought three of them. because they're just gorgeous. I'm very happy with my order from her. And it all came in this really cute little organza bag, which I love as well. And I almost dropped that. So that was all for March. Yes, March. No, that must have been, I'm sorry. I lied to you just now. It's not March. Hold on one second. I'm so sorry. That was February. 
that I showed you. I, as I said that, I was like, wait a minute, no, that's not right because April hasn't gone through. And I was right. It's I said it wrong. Okay. Now, let's look at March. March I just found in the mailbox. So first, oh, I got a little blue one. I got a little blue feather. Oh, Teddy's going to get a new feather. And he'll have two feathers. So, isn't that pretty? Little feather. This is my blue that I got in. This is my Lucky Dip. And since I have the others, I can show you. See? They can all work together. So cool. I love that. I really love the blues in this. It's got blues and pinks and a little bit of teal. I'm not sure you can see it that well. There we go. Very pretty. She has a beautiful job of dyeing these. And then over here is my build a blanket. Okay, sorry. So first it came with this one's so cute. Yeah, it's a unicorn. Disco unicorn. And these are the really pretty, very beautiful build a blanket minis I got. So let's review all the mini. Gotta grab them all. These are all the minis from the last two months that I got in. Beautiful colors. They're all going to work together. But I know you're probably going, but Naomi, you said you're gothic. Why would you do like those colors? Because just because I'm gothic doesn't mean the rest of my family is or the people I know. These don't always have to be just for me. I nine times out of but ten buy for other people. You know, with them in mind. And I do love colors because every once in a while when I'm wearing black or what have you it is nice to add in color and here's a little something too look at this oh what yeah yeah that's what I'm saying minis I love minis they're so good seriously if you have not checked them out I'm going to put the link in the description below. Please go check them out. And like I said, with hers, she does make... Sorry. Drop my Kleenex box. She does make full-size yarn that will work with any of the yarn that she makes. So, again, her name is Ruffles Yarn. Claire, she's in UK. The other one is Craft. Oh, so sorry, Adam. I messed up your name. I didn't even get it out of my mouth. Crafty Wool UK. <laughs> They're well worth it. I love both sets. They're one of my favorite sets. Um, oh, I have to go down to the other one. For just the yarn the lucky dip and the build it and the lucky dip and build a blanket boy i'd say try saying that three times fast but i don't even think i could manage it oh yetsy does not want to listen to what i'm saying it goes the other way very evil okay Four. And remember, the prices may vary depending on shipping. Because for my March, it was twenty six twenty six, and that was for the shipping and three um, minis. But it's worth it. If you love minis, it's worth it. If you don't like minis, then no, obviously you won't like that. But it's from the UK, so you're getting yarn that maybe you haven't had before. 
So take a chance. If you don't like that price, then you know you can look at other places that have minis. I do suggest probably trying Etsy first for minis, only because not other every place sells minis. I have a couple other places that sell it, but they don't sell all year long. So it's a little harder to get into um, for certain minis. But for now, I am going to say thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new here and you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscription. <laughs> Boy, I really messed that one up. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Wow. <laughs> if you're not new here, you've been here before, or if you're new here, please consider leaving me a like and a comment. They both help out tremendously in the YouTube streets. So until next time, guys, I'm going to say bye.